Yeah. George Galloway, congratulations. You're live on BBC News. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, what message does your victory send? I think the biggest message is to Keir Starmer uh, that he's lost the trust, lost the confidence of millions of traditional Labour voters. And that's going to cost Labour plenty in the general election this year. Is this not a particular set of circumstances here, though? I mean, would, not, would Labour not have won this seat had it not been for the fact that they had to drop their candidate? Well, none of us can know that. Uh, if you think it's just a particular set of circumstances, I beg to differ. I think that all over the country, Workers' Party candidates, independent candidates, significant people will now stand up against Labour in those constituencies and will either defeat them or cause their defeat. And that ought to be a matter of concern for Keir Starmer, and I think it is. I mean, how widespread can this get, though? I mean, you're obviously well known, you've got a history of doing this kind of thing, but does your party have the infrastructure to do more realistically in other parts of the country? Well, we've got uh, now 60 parliamentary candidates. Uh, we won't necessarily use them all because we're open to negotiation with others. Uh, if an independent has a better shout than us, we'll, we'll, we'll negotiate that. Uh, but we are, you know, this is where the co-op was born in 1844. Nobody thought it could be done. But I've been in co-ops from the favelas in Brazil to the townships of South Africa. It spread throughout the whole world. And I think this victory tonight will spread far.